Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Jake, and today is Wednesday, January 8th. And I'm Alex. Stay tuned for news about Iran, the earthquake in Puerto Rico, and much more on this week's World News Wednesday. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif says the U.S. will pay for its actions and must be prepared for the consequences after the death of General Soleimani, who was killed by an American airstrike. During an interview on Tuesday, Zarif said the United States took an act of war against Iran. It will have to be prepared for the consequences. Then it will decide how to, whether it wants to get itself into a quagmire or whether it wants to stop. Zarif went on later to say, We have nothing against the American people. Iran has never put the U.S. civilians on its target list. We will continue to update on the story. Early Tuesday morning, a 6.4 magnitude earthquake hit Puerto Rico, causing significant damage, injuring eight and at least one death. The quake hit close to the town of Tayaboa on the island's south coast at 4.24 a.m. The magnitude was initially reported at 6.6, but was revised down to 6.4. It's been 102 years since the last large earthquake in Puerto Rico, and $130 million has already been freed up to help with the emergency. The governor also declared a state of emergency throughout the island Tuesday, as well as an order that activated the National Guard. Now stay tuned for this segment on the breaking news from last night. Last night, more than a dozen Iranian missiles hit U.S. bases in Iraq. The Al-Assad Air Base in West Iraq was hit with at least six ballistic missiles, but there are no American casualties across the board. Iran's supreme leader called the attack a slap in the face to the U.S. Trump plans to make a statement later today. There will be a National Honor Society meeting today after school in the cafeteria. There will also be a medical club meeting after school in room 389 where volunteer opportunities will be discussed. Club meetings that are coming up are yoga club this Thursday in room 314 after school, math honor society meeting this Friday in Ms. Hyde's room, Spanish honor society will be on Monday, January 13th after school. Students who are preparing for the SAT, there will be week weekly tutoring sessions on Mondays after school in the College and Career Center. Please come see Ms. Moore if you have any further questions. Seniors interested in playing a kickball game against the faculty meet in room 360 during lunch on Thursday. We will also discuss Senior Safari. All seniors are welcome to attend. For the first time since 2010, the U.S. federal government has deployed a team of 100 American firefighters to help with the emergency response crews in Australia. Due to extended drought combined with hot and dry weather conditions, Australia has been experiencing devastating bushfires since August. The U.S. firefighters have been deployed in several separate teams over the course of the last 30 days. The U.S. is not the only country sending aid to Australia. Canada has also sent several teams of wildfire special bringing their total amount of volunteers to 87. Any male athletes interested in joining the boys weightlifting team, please see Coach Russell in the main campus weight room. There will be a parent meeting for anyone interested in playing water polo this year today at 6.30 p.m. in the East Cafeteria. Interested athletes can come to the pool after school or see Coach Creighton in room 801 or Coach Ferguson for more information. There will be a baseball informational meeting t on Tuesday, January 14th at 6 p.m. at the baseball field. This meeting is for both players and parents. Coach Cash will be there to discuss tryouts and answer any questions. Tryouts will be on January 21st at 4.30 p.m. at the baseball field. Attention tennis players, there will be a final informational meeting in room 286 on Friday, January 10th at 2.30 for anyone with questions about paperwork or the tryout process. The tryouts will be held on January 21st. For questions, please contact Coach Bentley. Tonight, our girls weightlifting team will be competing in their Metro meet, tonight starting at 6. Also, our girls basketball team is at home against Oak Ridge starting at 6. Good luck, Wildcats. That's all the news we have for you today, Wildcats. Have a wonderful Wednesday.